I thought a while back he was a bit woo-woo, a bit out there, but once I actually dove into his book, uh, Unleash the Power Within, it was actually one of my one of my top favorite, actually audio books that I listen to. And um, to actually see the guy in person, it's pretty crazy and I'm really stoked. So <laughs> yeah, it's just a lot of excitement behind all the madness. Ooh, that's, see, I, to be, to be honest, even though I read his audiobook, I have no idea what to expect for this event. Um, I heard good things about previous events that he's had, uh, like Date with Destiny in Florida, um, which is a very popular annual event he has, but I have no idea what to expect. So I'm just going in with an open mind and an open heart <laughs> and uh, hoping he'll just uh, blow me away. Yeah, so Tony Robbins, uh, first day, uh, we're actually not even at the event yet. We're getting ready to go. Everybody's kind of like, uh, what do we do? Um, but we fly in tonight and we get registered. I think it's at six o'clock. And then um, once we register, tomorrow we're walking on fire. And uh, none of us have done that before. So it's gonna be quite an experience. Um, and that's apparently just the beginning. So I, I don't even know what, what your climax is if, if walking on searing hot coals barefoot is like the beginning. So I think we're all pretty pumped about it. Um, I'm nervous. I think everyone on the team is a little bit nervous slash excited because it's one of those events where you're surrounded by like 15,000 strangers and like you're all walking on fire. And this is something I'm really pumped to see these guys experience on the team. and see what they come out with because I think it's it's one of those rare opportunities in life where you have literally a four day immersion that will transform you and change things that you couldn't change. I know he's a very big and tall man. So first off, I don't want to be intimidated by his size and his bombastic voice. Uh, but I'm, in, I'm very excited to just be inundated with the Tony Robbins experience to be inspired, to have my life changed. I'm excited to have my fundamental beliefs and, and, and heart even changed, uh, to have even more love for people, to have more inspiration to who I am and how I can relate to the world uh, and what my mission and purpose is. And so I'm excited to have that challenge, to walk on fire even. That's gonna definitely be a, a, a mind F, if you will to try to walk on these hot coals. But I'm sure the whole crowdsourcing experience is gonna help with that, the peer pressure, and, and just having everyone support each other. I'm excited. I think SMART, they, uh, they wanna break through, is one of the key words uh, in Tony Robbins, and they wanna break through a lot of your, what you think is impossible. So we just arrived at our Airbnb, and we are kinda getting caught up with all of- Despite not looking like, like a dapper fellow, He's Paul's going to be uh, attending a platinum pre-party. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll definitely say it was pretty, uh, pretty next level in the sense that the people that we were surrounded by and the people we met, um, it blew my mind that they were just right next to me and that I was talking to them. Anyways, this is, uh, so yeah, so it's day one of the event. Um, I'm with Eli and Paul. We're actually kind of just hanging out here. Warming up, getting ready. Hey. Or is this problem actually a gift from God? 
Yeah, so I think I think the first day for me was really uh, a pretty great refresher uh, of just how amazing the energy is with Tony Robbins. Like, Day two, uh, fullest day, uh, longest day so far. Uh, it's really testing the resolve of you know what practice what they preach, just to really get yourself. It's mind over matter. To experience peak day, which is today, uh, transformation day, um, and I thought day one was pretty insane. So if that like set the bar for me, I can't imagine that this will set the bar higher, which is what everyone is saying, but. Uh, I'm like really excited to go considering everything I've gotten so far from this event has just been pure gold. I think maybe today is going to be kind of the guy, just Tony, just sort of just like pounding it into our systems. So I'm pretty excited. We had a we had an integration day at Day with Destiny, and I'm I'm assuming if today's transformation day, it's probably either like that today or it's going to be like that tomorrow. But either way, the transformation and the integrations are like. Okay, last day of the event. Um, I think the guys are super pumped. We're gonna we're gonna do a quick interview with them. See how they're they're taking it all in. But uh, it is Sunday. Yesterday was Transformation Day, and I gotta say it reminded me a lot of Day with Destiny. You just do a lot of like state pumping and integration work uh, in your body and your nervous system. There's a lot of guided meditation. It's it's pretty powerful. Um, and I could see this event being like just a good way to sort of keep yourself primed, keep yourself really pumped. A3 Tony just comes in and he just pumps you and pumps you and pumps you. So I would say like the first couple hours, you're just getting your state pumped. Transformation day. You can read all the literature out there on Tony Robbins and all of his principles are most likely laid out in his books. But it's different when you're there in the room with him and when he's leading you with a neurophysiological impact. What I mean by that is there is a guided meditation he does uh, where he is guiding you physically, mentally, and he's He's, he's taking the room and taking his energy and interacting with them. There's this is energy exchange that's happening in a group of 12,000 people, eliminating, limiting beliefs. And we have it all the time. I'm too old, too young. Joseph came on. He went through kind of what we've already done up to this point. And then Tony really went in there and just pumped the us, just stay pumped us for like a good two, three hours. And then he took us through the guided Dickens process, which is one of the things that he's got in his books and his audio program. The most powerful thing in day three was tying emotion with our beliefs, as not just beliefs, but our limiting beliefs, as well as our beliefs that we want to create. And picturing what the emotions to my limiting beliefs felt like, it really, it really unlocked this part of my brain. And I, and I know it sounds very like, Woo woo out there like oh oh really you went to Tony unlocked your brain like that but when you're truly in the moment and you're immersed for 15 hours doing that day in and day out and living it and breathing it it it, it really had a strong effect on me. Um, if I had to explain how I feel post event, it's it's kind of this weird feeling, almost like almost like I was born again in a silly way. But uh, biggest takeaways for me, uh, one was your state, which is fo uh, altered by either your focus, language, or physiology. And it blew me away how quickly you can change your state just like that by um, changing those three factors. And it's really already made an impact on how I perceive the world and how I f To the skeptics, I would say this. Don't get me wrong. It is a bit naive to say that Tony doesn't have that 
woo-woo factor of motivating you and uh, you know, kind of getting into your head with emotions, but you just have to experience it. I mean, I've read Tony's books, I've listened to his audiobooks, and even before going to the event, it wasn't something that I thought necessarily I needed or that I even wanted to do. Um, I don't think I would have even gone out of my way to, to have done it had it not been sponsored by the company, but as soon as you go with an open mind and an open heart and experience it, you, I promise you will have your mind blown because Tony lives in a completely different world that is so difficult to explain. Um, and it can really only be experienced because once you go to one of his events, he introduces all of his favorite people within his world. And then you kind of understand where he's coming from. And I'm talking billionaires, I'm talking the best of the best coaches in not only uh, psychology, but also in nutrition, in, in uh, like bone structure, in, in working out. Like literally this guy coaches and has a network of literally the, the, the people who are the number one at what they do and he brings them on board. And so it's impossible to go to one of his events and not have a ton of takeaways. What you're getting yourself into is a whole nother perspective on life and how life works that you just cannot get from reading books. You just, you just can't get it from regular coaches. I mean, we were fully immersed for over 15 hours every single day for four days. And that just does something to the way that you think and your physiology that it adds a whole nother perspective you just really can't get from reading books and the traditional way of learning. And so for anyone who's considering unleash the power within for the money, I, I think it's a pretty hard uh, bet not to make that investment because you know, one little shift in your mindset, especially if you're an entrepreneur these days could, could easily pay for the entire event. And most people are getting multiple shifts, you know, and they're, they're, they're literally spending 12 hours, 14 hours a day uh, with Joseph and, and Tony, and you just don't get that exposure in most society in most days. And the biggest takeaways I have is state, for sure. Um, again, you forget it, because it's not really an intellectual concept, it's an energy, and you don't get to experience it very often. Very few times do you find yourself jumping up and down, moving your body, moving your physiology, really just getting yourself into a different form of energy outside of these events. You just don't get that. And that is, is really hard to explain. This is like all about just bringing out the best energy you have in yourself and building that emotional muscle and momentum so you can carry yourself forward through limiting beliefs, through challenges you're experiencing in your life, in your business, in your relationships. And I think I don't even need to give you three takeaways. I would say that's the one and only takeaway you really need. And most people just, frankly, they need it and they don't get it anywhere. You can read as many books as you want, you won't experience it. You just have to physically put yourself in that environment um, or find people crazy enough around you to actually get you to do that. And uh, so I'm excited to see how the momentum- Because even yesterday, my first day, full day back, um, I felt my, the similar areas and surroundings, the old triggers of old habits, started seeping back in and I started realizing that immediately and I had to put myself and my body into state and, and use the tools that he gave us. So it's a lot of it implementing uh, the physicality and the mindset and, and, and creating new habits and making decisions and commitment and even looking back at the book, you know, because, you know, we as humans, we have to be kind to ourselves. We're not perfect. And so just talking with other people from the, the event all day yesterday, uh, I uh, really was encouraged at the humanity of us and what we can accomplish. So I'm looking super forward to taking those teachings and applying it to every part of my day. Emotion creates emotion. And sometimes when the brain has limiting beliefs that you don't feel necessarily happy in the morning when you wake up or your brain wants to say to yourself, like, I feel tired. Sometimes that's a competing voice and you're inherent voice has to overcome that and say, I am the voice. I would say don't knock on unless you try it. Um, you know, I come from a very uh, 
I come from a background uh, as a Christian growing up in the church and I've experienced a lot of woo woo and hey hey and believe believe and I've, I've experienced that and I believe that that's some deeper spiritual thing for the church side on the Tony Robbins side there's a lot of activity and you see those videos and like that kind of doesn't look right that kind of looks a little extreme well there's a reason for it because your mind is so used to being asleep asleep and it's so used to not putting itself out there and fully participating when you fully participate in something and this is why it doesn't work when you watch from home read a book and Tony you don't experience it you don't experience the full energy the emotion and even the aura and the energy that goes back and forth between people and so you're not really experiencing true learning because it's not wired into your neurophysio neurophysiology and so I would say to those people you need to definitely go to some type of event it doesn't have to be Tony Robbins but you have to go to some event where you physically get involved where you emotionally mentally get super impacted and when you get impacted that way then actually your brain's like whoa I need to right that's emotionally jarring and that's emotional jarring creates true learning and I would say to those people out there you're, you're missing out on maybe 80% of the learning because knowledge as we learned from Tony Robbins is only potential power.